What's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs and today I have this very cute, really big box of blind packaged figures that are from Pop Mart. So back in January, I came across these pictures that I thought were AI generated of these really cute chibi Sailor Moon figures. Once I was able to confirm that they were authentic photos, I had posted the leak over on my Instagram page. Well, it turns out that leak was of these adorable figures from Pop Mart and they were only released in Asia, probably because of licensing. Each box consists of nine figures and you have like a one in 108 chance or a 110 chance chance of getting one of the chase figures. The chase figures are Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. So because I knew that I might have a chance at getting a chase figure, I actually got two of these from some Asian proxies. Let's go ahead and get started with the first box that you see here. So as we're looking at the box here on the front, you get an image of each of the different characters as well as the two chases. So here it says you can get secret number one, which is one of 108 and secret number two, which is one of 108 as well. So Serenity and Endymion. Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, we have the English logo, and we have pretty similar printing on each of the sides as well. This matte style box is super cute. I feel like this would look super adorable on display as well. Okay, so when you open the box, the first thing you will see is all nine of your blind boxed figures. There is no really good way to tell which figure you're going to get until you actually open it. I actually think it would be really fun if I take out all of the blind boxes from both of the packages that I ordered and kind of randomize it so that we don't know what we're gonna get. What do you think? Let's do it. So I'm just gonna kind of mix these up a little bit so that I don't know which ones came in which box. I think this is mixed up enough. Okay, let's get started. If you wanna share some love from your star seeds on this unboxing and bring me some luck, please do. If I get more than one chase, like if I get duplicate chases, maybe I'll do a giveaway. Okay, so here's the first one and I'll give you an idea on the top down camera of what it looks like in the inside here. Now, I believe you get a card. You do. Okay, so you get a card on the inside and then you also get the blind boxed figure here in the packaging. I think I'm gonna show you the card after I actually do the unboxing so that I don't spoil it for myself. I'm nervous. <laughs> Take a look, who do we get? I think it's Jupiter. It's Jupiter, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a little silica thing. These are really well-made little chibi figures. Each figure includes a stand that has the logo on it. It's a very simple stand. It does have a copyright image on the bottom of it, just in case bootlegs ever become a thing. Here's the actual character. Oh my gosh, she even has a little bit of airbrushed blush on her cheeks. Wow, that's pretty impressive. All the paint is done in a matte style, except for her eyes. She does have quite a bit of detail and the paint job is done really, really well. Okay. She looks super cute. I like her and I love her pose. It's very, very Sailor Jupiter. Okay, let's put Jupiter on her stand. There we go. Now that you've seen the character, I'll show you what comes in the box. So I have no idea what this says. Cool. This is the little trading card that you'll receive with your figure. On the front of it, you get an image of the character that you received. And then at the bottom, it says their name. Cute. Okay, which one is next? This one. This one is calling my name. Let's find out who we got. I hope it's a cute one. Oh, she's adorable. I love her. Okay, she's not a chase, but she's cute. Okay, so next we have Usagi in her school uniform. And again, we have this really, really cute blush on her cheeks. We have her beautiful brooch. And I love that they painted in the crystal colors on the front of her compact, on the front of her brooch. That looks really good. She even has a little bit of detailing, like a different coloring around her elbow. That is very nicely done. Very cute, again, satisfied with the paint quality. And she also comes with a stand. And here is her trading card. Which one is next? This one. Let's do it. I'm nervous. Guys, I don't know why I'm so nervous collecting these because I know people have unboxed them and are like selling their chases on eBay. So I could easily just purchase whichever ones I'm missing at the end of this, but I'm just hoping that I have some good luck. <laughs> Come on, Star Crystal. Bring me good energy, Sailor Crystal. Oh, I got Tuxedo Mask. I love that he is holding a rose in his hand. Very cute. I also appreciate, and you can barely see this, but they actually painted his eyes behind his mask. 
So you can see his eyes back there and that's so funny. Even though they're covered up, they went in and they included that little detail. Good job, Pop Mart. Now release these in America. That would be even better. <laughs> he looks cute. Here is his little collectible trading card. Okay, let's do this one next. Bring me some good vibes. Bring me some good vibes. Oh, I got Mamoru. My first anime crush. <laughs> He is wearing his classic 1990s green blazer with the bright blue pants, the sky blue pants, and his black shirt. His eyes are adorable. They look just about the same as his eyes on the other figures. So it looks like they use like the same art style for both of these characters, which I appreciate. And here is his trading card. Okay, so far new duplicates. Let's move on. How about you? Gotta open it very carefully. I did not look at the card. Not looking at any of the cards. Who did I get? Oh, I got another tuxedo mask. Okay, so this is our first dupe. So I am actually going to put him back in the box and I will save him for either a sale or a giveaway. All right, let's open her. I said her. Do I have a vibe that it is a her? Give us a lady. <gasps> yes, yeah, one of my favorite girls. Yeah. Okay. Oops, sorry girl, sorry. I'm losing her. Oops, sorry, I got some cat hair on Sailor Mars. Uh, that is because I allow my cat in my collection room. Loving the gold foil paint on her tiara. It looks great. Love that she has the little star earrings. Again, very detailed. She looks good. Let's put her on her stand. Again, very much appreciate the poses of these characters too. And here is her trading card. So we have two Sailor Scouts so far. Sailor Scouts. We still have a lot to get through and we have the opportunity still to get a chase. So continuing on. Oops, oh, I saw it. Dang it. Okay, I know I don't have this one yet. <laughs> I saw the trading card when it fell out. This one is... Sailor Mercury. So here we have Sailor Mercury. Her face detailing and her expression is very, very cute. Again, love the foil detail on her tiara. Her face looks great. Yeah, the paint quality on here is really good. Love the shiny boots as well. She looks good. Okay, let's put her on the stand and move on. Oh, and here is her trading card. We are slowly collecting the Sailor Guardians. I love that. Ooh, which one's next? This one. I'm gonna choose this one. Chase. Oh, I got Venus. Okay, we got another Sailor Guardian. Sailor Venus looks amazing. She's super, super cute. And I love the detailing work again. Everything looks really high quality. Everything looks very well done. She doesn't look hurried. Still love the blush on her cheeks. Such a cute little detail. And here's her trading card. And we're still missing the chases. Hopefully we get a chase. I'm still hoping. Okay, let's do this one next. Sailor Crystal Vibes. Oh, we got a Sailor Mercury. That's a dupe. You, you've been hiding. Let's do this one next. I'm wishing, I'm hoping, I'm praying that I get one of the chases. Oh, I got Sailor V. Ah, she's so cool. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Yay, I can look at her card now. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm so glad they included a Sailor V in this box because like traditionally on Sailor Moon, you don't really see a lot of Sailor V except for like a few occasions, like a couple of episodes. She even has her glasses, love the glasses. There's a crescent moon on her forehead. I love the detail work in her outfit. Very cute. And her choker has a little crescent moon on it. Oh, she looks good. She looks really, really good. Let's put her on her stand. Question is, I don't have a lot of Sailor V collection items, so where am I gonna put her? Where will she fit in? Should I put her with the Sailor Vina stuff? Ooh, maybe I should put her in front of my Sailor V manga. That would be cute. There's her card. It looks adorable. Let's move on. I'm trying to feel the aura of a chase figure. <laughs> How good are my vibes? <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, I got another Venus. You are next. Oh, Jupiter, still missing Sailor Moon. Hopefully it's Sailor Moon or one of the chases. Oh, Sailor Mars, still no Sailor Moon. I'm getting a little nervous, guys. Getting a little nervous. I'm gonna move these into the center so you can see them all on the top down camera. We have five left. 
All right, so I'm expecting to see some more dupes. Send your star seeds over here, send your star seeds. Oh, another Usagi. All right, four left. Let's hope for a Sailor Moon. Oh good, the card didn't fall out. The card's still in the box. I have not seen the card. Yes, yes, yay, yay. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, I got Sailor Moon, yay. Okay, so I have a full set of commons. Yes, awesome. That was nerve wracking, waiting for a Sailor Moon to come out of one of these boxes, but I'm, I'm glad you made it, girl. I'm glad you decided to make yourself known. You were the first one to get announced on the show and you were the last one to announce yourself here. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks for waiting and giving me some anxiety. Let's take a look at Sailor Moon. So here we have the beautiful Sailor Moon. I love her earrings. It looks like there is a teeny tiny bit of gold paint on the moons at the bottom of her earrings. Nice touch. She also has the fully painted compact from season one. Very, very cute. She even has the gold printing on her boots and her boots are shiny. I love that her Odongo shields are also shiny. They are very precious. And again, we have a beautiful pose. And again, she has just a teeny tiny little bit of airbrushing on her cheeks to give her a little bit of blush. She's gonna look so good next to the rest of the Sailor Guardians. And here's her trading card. I'm so happy that I got a Sailor Moon. Yay, I have a full set of commons. Okay, so we still have three more boxes. Will we get another full box of commons or will we get any of the chases? Sailor V, two left. Let's find out what we got. Oh, it's another Mamoru. Who are we missing? Sailor V? No, Sailor, maybe this is another Sailor Moon. That would be very funny if the last one is also a Sailor Moon, given that I was so nervous that I wouldn't get one. Okay, so here's the last box. Will it be a chase? Or will it be Sailor Moon? <sighs> Send those star seeds my way. <laughs> it's Sailor Moon. We got a full box of commons on both of them. So now that I have unboxed all 18 of the characters that I purchased through the two proxies, uh, I have to say, I am very impressed with the quality of the paint style, with the quality of the molds. All of them look so good on these Popmark characters. During my unboxing, I did not notice or experience any kind of weird flaws like we have gotten with very expensive molds and models and figures from Premium Bandai or Tamashi Nations. <laughs> I think that Popmart did a very good job with these. Now, I will be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Chase figures and chase products because it ends up creating scalper kind of conditions on secondhand markets. So us collectors end up having to pay more to be able to get access to those chase figures if we did not actually get one uh, during retail. With that said though, I am very happy that I got a full box set of all the commons. So in my opinion, I do have a full set, even though I don't have the two chases. I know that you can get the chase figures online between like, 100 to 150 dollars per figure which i think is ridiculously expensive if i am able to find one that's less expensive than that then i'll definitely purchase it secondhand or trade for it trade something out of my current collection but at this time i am very happy with the ones that i got and i am super super excited that i was able to share these with you don't forget to like and comment down below tell me which one of these figures is your favorite and also make sure to subscribe so that you can see all the new videos that I'm coming out with. Lots and lots of really brand new products. I'm also going to be working on this room and changing it up and uh, I haven't shared my idea yet, but you will see it soon. I'm very excited. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.